Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Milo and I am back because there's been a new game release on Steam for Linux. In my first video I showed you Trine 2. If you don't know the game or if it works on Linux or not, make sure to check out my video. But this video is about another game. This video is about Half-Life 2. Well, in case you've been living under a rock, you may have missed the news that was spread on Steam the 9th of May, which says that the Half-Life 2 beta was released and that this beta adds Linux support. Yeah, that's right. Since Steam for Linux was released, Valve started to port the games, which makes perfect sense because just porting a game delivery platform without porting any games for it wouldn't work out in the end, wouldn't it? So this really excites me because Half-Life 2, man, that's really that's really a huge game, you know. In case you've living you've been living under even bigger rock and you're asking yourself, what is this guy talking about? What is Half-Life? Oh my god, you've been missing one of the best first person shooters ever. And that's not an opinion, but just a matter of fact. So, in case you don't know Half-Life, check out the Wik Wikipedia article. There's everything about the game to catch up about the story. And even better, if you haven't played Half-Life yet, you can do so without playing a game that was released in 1997 and looks pretty crappy today. Because some very talented developers have ported the original Half-Life game to the new Source engine. This project is called Black Mesa and you can play it for absolutely free. So you don't have to pay for it, you just go on blackmesasource.com there you can download the game, you can find installation instructions in their wiki and you can relive one of the best first-person shooters ever with the new Source engine, which ma which makes this game very enjoyable even in 2013. So, back to topic. Today we're going to talk about Half-Life 2, and specifically about the port for Linux and how it runs. So let's check my system information first, so you get a, an idea about the hardware that's running. Um, I'm running Ubuntu 13.04. That's a 64-bit OS type. I have an NVIDIA graphics card and of course for gaming I use the binary driver which you can install from Ubuntu directly. I use the NVIDIA 3.13 updates version of the driver which is the most current driver from the of official repositories. So that's enough about my system, let's talk about the game. Let's go to the library. Here you can see it, Half-Life 2, it is called Beta although I've been playing for 14 hours as you can see and there are one or two minor visual bugs and everything else is just working flawlessly so I can absolutely recommend you to, to play this game let's just jump into it and see how it's performing on Linux so let's push play button to start the game um. This doesn't take too long since I have Half-Life 2 and uh, the Ubuntu operating system both installed on my solid state disk which makes uh, the loading times quite short which is of course a good thing. So um, we are in the menu of Half-Life 2 and the background you're seeing is in-game graphics. We can have a look at our options here, the video options. This is a full, s full HD resolution and all the video settings are cranked up to the maximum and anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering in use, all the good stuff to make this lo game look as good as it can. Um, and I think it actually does. Uh, you have to keep in mind this is from 2004 uh, and even nine years later it doesn't look crappy at all. It's definitely not uh, as impressive as Far Cry 2, uh, Far Cry 3 or Metro or Crisis or anything like that but it's still uh, really enjoyable so let's have a look into the game um, I've chosen uh, to, to show you the... I've chosen 
I'm sorry. I've chosen to show you the the first chapter point insertion. I skipped just the very first seconds to don't spoil the story. I just want to show you the game and how it's running performance wise. I not want I don't want to show you or spoil the story. So let's click on the load button. As I said, solid state disk game re loads really fast. <laughs> Here we are. This is Half-Life 2, running on Steam for Linux. No performance problems at all. Uh, game running at a very high frame rate. Uh, although I am recording with 10 frames per second. I didn't see you get on. But that's because uh, of some well, async issues. End of the line. With record my desktop. Uh, so I'm forced to use this 10 FPS recording while recording a game. I'm sorry for that, but I hope you can still uh, see and understand that this game runs uh, without any problem. Performance is really good, uh, frame rate is uh, really high. Um, there are no lags at all. So this is our arrival in City 17 and you can see that something is already going wrong here in City 17. It seems to be a dangerous place. Um, that's how the game and the story starts. And you have NPCs you can communicate with. And the story uh, and the storytelling is really intense which makes this game so great. And again, the graphics it's not like you are noticing that much that this is nine years old. Uh, well, did a really great job back then. Uh, so this game is really enjoyable, even if you used to play Metro last night, for instance. Doesn't look that good, of course, but it's definitely uh, nice to look at still and enjoyable. And yeah, well so well you see there are no performance issues at all game runs uh, flawlessly. Another thing that I want to show you, uh, I already tried this in my Trine 2 video, um, one thing that is very important to me at least is the ability to uh, minimize and maximize the game. So let's try to tap out of the game. Um, one thing you can notice is it works, <laughs> it got minimized. The other thing you might notice is that uh, the game sounds are gone, you can't hear them anymore, so in-game sound uh, or the sound playback of the game gets stopped and there's an option uh, in Half-Life 2 where you can actually deactivate this behavior if you don't like it um, and the playback of the sound resumes when you maximize the game again which you can do like this and you see there are absolutely no issues we are back in-game and the Unity uh, desktop is not in the way like it was with Trine 2 so you can minimize and maximize the game and there's absolutely no problem in doing so. Welcome. Which is a very nice thing, I think. Uh, so this, the quality of this port is actually higher than the quality of the uh, Trine 2 port. Actually, I don't see what I could, yeah, could tell you about this port that, that is not good. It, it works, the frame rate is awesome. Uh, it integrates in the window, ma window management of the Unity desktop so that you can minimize and maximize the game. And so, yeah, there aren't no issues at all. I played 14 hours and there were one or two visual bugs. I think I said that before. And nothing uh, to yeah that would stop you from playing the game. Absolutely great do work done by Valve. Uh, if they keep Porting the games with this quality, um, there won't be any reason for you gamers who play Valve games to stay on your Windows machines if you don't want to. Alright, so that was Half-Life 2. If you own it already, you can play it on Linux right now. If you don't, uh, you can purchase the orange, orange box which gets you all the Half-Life 2 games um, for 20 bucks which is a real bargain. Um, yeah, definitely should check it out. Um, in my opinion, one of the best first-person shooter games ever now available on Linux. So that's all for now. This was Milo. Thank you for watching and see you next time.